I still can't believe what happened. Thirteen people took revenge on the same person. This investigation is so incredible. It almost looks like a detective story. It would surely be a bestseller. It is true that this case will remain as one of the most important investigations of my career. My only regret will be that I couldn't bring Ratchet to justice, but I can finally close this chapter of my life. Your determination paid off. You can be proud of yourself. I think we'll be arriving in Paris soon. If you will pardon me, Detective Locke, I have to settle a few details with Monsieur Book before we arrive. Please, go ahead. I still can't believe Freya was the killer. She never even cheated when we played poker. She used too much sugar. Nonsense! Her desserts were divine! Unfortunately, her actions were not so divine. There you are, my friend. Book, I have a favor to ask. Anything. When we arrive in Paris, will you speak to the police? I would rather keep a low profile. But why? Book, my first solution was incorrect. Nonsense. The nuttier the mystery became, the greater your brilliance. Please. Very well, if you insist. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for your service. The cuisine, under difficult conditions, you surpass the reputation of the Orient Express. That is true. I look forward to seeing you again abroad, Monsieur Poirot. I promise, not all of our trips are this eventful. Princess Dragomirov would like a word with you, Monsieur Poirot. It is important. She is waiting for you in her compartment. When a princess summons me, how can I refuse? Ah, Mademoiselle Debenham and Captain Arbuthnot. Allow me to congratulate you on your upcoming nuptials. I hope you won't be too disappointed if you're not invited. Archie, really. Thanks to Mr. Poirot, there will actually be a wedding. As you say, my darling. Sorry, old man. And thanks for everything, including finding my train ticket. Golden Moustache. Count Andreigny, how is the Countess? Much better now that it's all over. I misjudged you, Poirot. And I you? There is something else about my wife you should know. Why I am so overprotective. She is pregnant. <sighs> You are quite the detective. <laughs> Actually, Dr. Constantine told me. She admitted as much when he was attending to her. If it's a girl, we are going to name her Daisy. If it's a boy, Hercule, he'll be stuck with Rudolph. It's a family tradition. I wish you and all of your family much happiness. Thank you. My daughter, my great friend, and I wanted to talk to you one last time. I speak on behalf of the entire Armstrong family, as well as those close to us. You have shown compassion. We know your reputation, and we understand that your choice was not easy for you. We are all the more grateful. Thank you. Congratulations, my dear. You managed to say the word, thank you. Although he did manage to put us through quite a lot. You have given us all closure and some peace of mind. You should know that I regret nothing. If this Freya Nielsen person had not been involved, I would have done it again. 
Someone told me the Stalinists were frightened of you. I believe them. The country of my birth breeds its share of brutes and bullies, but also some of the greatest intellectual and artistic minds the world has ever known. I pray that one day we will again be remembered for that. I share your hope, Princess. And of course, with the real murderer of that man out there somewhere, we are no longer guilty of much. Correct? Princess, don't push your luck too far. If you'll excuse me, I have some packing to do. Ladies? At the end of this investigation, I still have my doubts. Did I make the right choice with the 12 self-proclaimed jurors? Yes, it was the right thing to do. As for Mademoiselle Nielsen, what would I have done if she had not escaped? Is it justice to let the Twelve go free, but have Mademoiselle Nielsen arrested? A vast question indeed. Judges often take motive into consideration when deciding the sentence for a crime. You are not a judge. Your job is to establish the facts, which you have done. The case has been solved. Another already awaits you. It is the reason you were on this train. It is time. Time to move on. Monsieur Poirot, I spoke with my associates. I convinced them to give you a deal on our new Firenze SUV. No need to thank me. It's the least I could do. That is very generous, but no, I do not drive. You don't? What? But it's electric. It's good for the planet. I am good for the planet, as long as I don't drive. I don't understand. He refused. No problem. You can never have too many of these. Yes, that's it. Waro is a nasty man. Waro is a nasty man. Hmm. I wonder where Princess Dragomirov's bird can have heard that. Have you lost something? May I help you? Oh, Mr. Poirot, you have done so much already. What is it you have lost? My friends. We are traveling to Poland to help with children. We were to meet at an information booth. But where do I get information on how to find an information booth? There is, I believe, an information booth just inside the main terminal. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a great detective. And you, madame, are a good soul.
News travels fast. Hey, Poirot. Say, have you seen a scruffy little guy in a green trench coat? I cannot say I have. Why? He's my next case. Another case? That was indeed fast. A detective's gotta eat. You know what I mean. I have some idea, yes. Suspected embezzler. Traveling east, but not on the Orient Express. Say, you wouldn't be interested in teaming up, would you? Some good money in it. I have had enough of trains for a while, thank you. Okay, suit yourself. Mr. Poirot, Mr. McQueen here thinks he may know an attorney in the Berkshires who might need a gentleman's gentleman. He's old school English. I think the clock stopped for him in 1934. I hope it works out for you, Monsieur Masterman. What about you, Monsieur McQueen? Well, back to law school for me, following my father's footsteps. We can take the train to St. Pancreas, then the Piccadilly line to Heathrow and check out some flights. Might as well. We're already packed. I wish you both bonne chance. Ah, Poirot. Mission accomplished. I have reported to the police that Freya Nielsen killed Hatchet and that she escaped. They're issuing an international arrest warrant. There's a canal that runs alongside the tracks where she jumped from the train. But they say there's little chance she survived. The police have questioned all of the passengers and crew, so for now, they are free to leave. I gave them the results of my preliminary autopsy, and they have the report from the Venetian authorities. They were arguing about jurisdiction when I left. Thank you, Doctor. You have been of inestimable help. A fascinating case. I'm pleased I could assist you. Mr. Poirot, it seems our paths part here. It was an honor and a pleasure to work with you. And I am with you, Detective Locke. The case would have been impossible without your tenacity and dedication to finding the truth. You also proved to be an able con artist in Geneva. You too. <laughs> Thank you for everything. I'll never forget you. And I shall always treasure our collaboration. Well, that's that. I'm hungry. Let's go to the Wagon Rouge restaurant. They make an excellent leg of lamb. But it's only 5.34 p.m. Is food all you really think about, my friend? I'm the one inviting you. You've well deserved it. I'm warning you, I'm not going to obtain for you a secret recipe this time. Poirot, they make a chocolate mousse that is so creamy. It must have a secret ingredient in it. The last recipe came from a murderer. But it was sublime.
Dear Poirot, I didn't really have time to say goodbye when we parted. I thought I had beaten the greatest detective in the world. But you unmasked me. I still had my revenge, though. I even managed to help myself to a small amount of cash from Wadi's bag before you interrupted me in Venice. It will be enough to settle somewhere in a quiet little town where I will create delicacies for appreciative clients. You won't hear from me again, nor will Book get any more of my recipes. Oh, and one last thing. You may not think so, but I truly believe Ratchet and Wadi got their just desserts. Regards, F. You, mademoiselle, are entirely too pleased with yourself. You give clues no one could follow. Unless they are Hercule Poirot. <laughs> <laughs>